Hello and welcome to this lecture. In this lecture we apply the configuration on the HQ48 firewall in order to be ready for the IPsec side-to-side -side VPN. So let's now go to 172.16.100.1 when we should be able to log in right away and we have admin and we say later and remind later and now let's navigate to the VPN menu so everything looks fine virtual machine it's an evaluation license and that's the reason why we cannot apply any advanced um, uh, authentication and encryption algorithms but anyway for demo and learning purposes it's absolutely perfect so now let's navigate to IPsec wizard and let's say that this is a site-to-site -site and site-to-site -site VPN tunnel and the remote device is going to be Cisco this time now let's name it let's say branch 1 let's say branch 2 no net between sites I will now click on next so we can see here that the diagram has changed so I'm configuring this 40 gate I'm connecting through internet so no NAT devices in between and uh, the, the remote device it's a Cisco device so now let's say next the IP address of the SA was the IP address again I have forgotten to test the connectivity between the HQ48 and the SA so let's do that now so HQ48 and I will do a ping so admin enter execute ping 100.100.100.102 and let's say if we have connectivity and it seems like it seems like we don't so this is a perfect example of why you should test before applying the advanced configuration you should uh, you should test basic uh, connectivity and let's see why let's go to the SA and yes I remember I didn't apply any route any default route on the SA pointing to pointing to the default gateway pointing to the internet router so if I say now show route I see I don't have any route going outside only connected and local so C means connected and L means local only local and connected routes so let's apply also a default route here so it's say you say route and then you say what's the uh, interface in our case the interface is outside and we'll say that this is the default route and the address of the gateway by which the foreign network is reached so what's the next hop the next hop is 100.100.100.101 this is configured on the internet router and let's say end let's also verify that the internet router has this IP address configured so enable show IP interface brief yes it is configured and it's in the up and up state perfect so now let's try again from the HQ48 let's go again and run the ping and the ping is successful so now this is the moment where you can now start the configuration and with no fear that uh, any uh, layer 1 layer 2 or layer 3 meaning connectivity uh, it's uh, it's in between so let's go again to this so the remote device we need to uh, we need to configure here the IP of the ASA so again it's 100 100 102 so let's do that so 100.100.100.102 port 1 detected via routing lookup again the authentication method are we going to use a pre-shared key or certificates so we will use pre-shared key now and let's say that this is fortunate now everything is good let's just click on next now the local interface again this means what's my uh, private uh, address space this is 1.1 and I'm going to connect to remote subnets which should be 3.0 let's uh, look on the diagram yes 192.168.3.0 and this is a slash 24 mask so let's go and configure this 192.168.3.0 and this is a slash 24 
this is good perfect internet access none let's just click on create so this has been set up show tunnel list now we have a side to side 40 gate it's in the upstate and we have another one a side to side with a cisco device and it's inactive let's check now what's the configuration applied for both phase one and phase two so that we uh, are 100% uh, sure of what's there and what needs to be configured on the uh, end on the other side on the ASA. So network, this is the network authentication and phase one. So let's check what's configured here. Let's say that we only have uh, again only this because it's in evaluation, evaluation mode, the VM we are running, encryption it's this, authentication it's SHA one. We are running the Diffie-Hellman group number five and the lifetime is this. Let's take this value and we will not do, we will not change anything here, but I want to make sure that we have the same uh, configured for phase two. Now, if you click on the pencil, which means edit, you'll have the possibility to click on the advanced here and see basically the phase two proposal. Again, we will use DES and SHA1 so enable perfect forward, uh, forward secrecy let's say we don't want that or we do anyway let's say we we want that again it's this sha1 uh diffie hellman group it's five let's modify here the seconds and i will say paste and just click ok so this is the configuration we have applied on the um, on the 48 firewall We'll have now to, to run uh, the wizard on the, on the ASA and match 100% the parameters here so that the VPN will come up. So thanks a lot and see you in the next lecture.